What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel, where we give you all the credit intel you need to grow your wallet. We're continuing the um, business credit building series, and in this video, I wanted to cover banks and what where they report to. Okay, so the institution itself and where they report, and we got just about all the major ones, not touching into any of the credit unions. That'll be in another video, um, but here we go. Let's start off at the top. So first off, we've got American Express, which as you know, they will pull Experian. So in this case, they'll pull Business Experian, and they report to the uh, SBFE, so keep in mind, remember that relationship between the SBFE and these major uh, banks and institutions, right? So they're all gonna be pulling from Experian and SBFE for the most part, and also reporting there as well, which again, it's kinda, kinda doesn't make sense, I guess it does in a way. So they're, it's just an open door relationship between the two. Next, Bank of America. Um, they report to the SBFE, Capital One, they report to Dun & Brad, Experian, and SBFE. Keep in mind that there is one of their cards, I think it's the Spark Cash, that does not uh, report to your personal credit. I think we've got this on the website, we'll update it with more information we got recently, but they'll still pull all three bureaus for a, uh, a new credit card, so you'll get hit with all three, um, but it won't report to your personal. And again, I think that's the Spark Cash card. Expect an update on the website. Um, they also have offers for like lower credit and um, lower tier credit, and those will still report to your, uh, those still will report to your personal. And if you default in any sort of way, then obviously it'll report to your personal as well. So. The one piece of conflicting data that I, I've got is that some people are saying that if you go bad on a Capital One card on your personal, it doesn't uh, negatively affect your relationship or your ability to get a card on the business side. Other people saying, nope, that's not true. I don't know. You let me know in the comments if you've got experience with this. So did a bad relationship on the personal side lead to Capital One denying you or having a bad relationship on the business side? Let me know. Next is Chase. So they report to um, they report to Dun and Brad, Equifax, Experian, and the SBFE. Okay, which makes sense. They're top bank. Next, we've got uh, Discover. They report to Dun and Brad, Equifax, Experian, Citibank. They report to uh, Dun and Brad, Equifax, Experian, and SBFE. U.S. Bank. They report to Equifax, Dun and Brad. Lastly, Wells Fargo, they report to uh, the SBFE. Now, remember the name of the game with this is from a business standpoint, when we're setting up our net 30s and we're going through that part of building up our, our business credit profile is setting up business bank accounts and having some sort of weekly deposit hit there is also crucial because it's the amount of transactions. And because a lot of the banks that I just mentioned have also an internal credit score system, right? Like American Express, um, Cap One does, Chase does, right? Most of these banks have some sort of internal ranking or scoring system. Because of that, the more transactions you've got, meaning that weekly deposits, weekly ACHs, something, then the better. So it's a, it's a numbers game in that sense to help you build the relationship. So it's not just about your FICO. It will be about your ability to manage and run your business checking account. So choose wisely with the business checking accounts that you set up. And again, think of it like a longer term thing. It's not like we do with some of the um, consumer side where you're running out and setting up all these bank accounts. And because one, you're probably going to struggle to have enough money to filter in and out. Um, but two, it's going to be harder to track. And so I would suggest to really just focus on those couple that you want on the business side of it. Okay, that's all I got for you in this video. Comment below if you've got something to add, something I missed. Uh, like the video. Again, these things all help with getting this video in front of more people. I want this series to get as many people, to get in front of as many people as possible. I need your help. So all it takes is you to like the video, comment below, just say, yeah, go guys, you know, go team, uh, whatever. And if you're brand new here and you like this sort of thing and you're enjoying the channel so far, then hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, turn it to all so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. See you again in the next one.